this lesson right here, what we're going to be doing is taking a look at MySQL user accounts. So, Logan, Mr. Take It Away. Okay, well, this is uh, we're going to set up an account inside of My MySQL that we're going to be connecting through with PHP. Basically, uh, a special account for just the PHP scripts to connect to the database. Now, why would you want to do something like this? Okay, um, the, what I'm, you have when you create an account in MySQL, you can set up different privileges, like are they allowed to view data, are they allowed to create data, are they allowed to create tables, and so forth. So what we're going to do is only give it the ability to like uh, to look at and work with data and not allow it to uh, mess with tables, because at least in the next few VTMs, we shouldn't ha uh, be working with tables from inside of PHP, so we don't need that functionality. And when you but say working with tables, you're talking about actually creating Yes, yeah, I'm talking about like modifying. creating like creating databases, creating tables, stuff like that. Right. Yeah, I just want to – okay. So um, if we don't create a user account or if we don't create this account, what happens? Um, you could connect just fine like uh, in the last video where we just simply opened up the MySQL monitor and it worked. That's because uh, it was set up to allow local host without any uh, any kind of password. You could do that through PHP. You could just give it a blank user account or give it local host and then a blank password and it would work fine. But this is just if you were actually working on a, on someone's web server or a, a server that's already been set up, it's going to be uh, – it's, it's, you're going to have to log in with the username and password. So it would be good just to show how this is created. Right. So this technically this kind of gets important so that you're not just leaving your your database open for anyone to jump right. in there. Okay, so go ahead. Okay, well first I'm going to have to actually start the uh the MySQL server again. So let me switch over to my K drive. Here we go with the typing thing. Okay. <laughs> he hates to type and I guess I can kind of yak for a minute as he changes his directory over to the MySQL folder so that it's we'll been. Use it's MySQL D. I'll be the sports announcer. No, he's Stand. going in there with his flags for standalone as he starts up the MySQL D, and here it comes. And with that open, we don't need this window open anymore. So he's now closing the command And I'm going to go ahead and start Apache as well. We're not actually going to be needing Apache in this lesson, but we'll need it in the next one. So go ahead, start Apache. It starts. So he's now it's starting running. Apache. Okay, so now I can load up one more command prompt and actually connect to MySQL through the MySQL monitor. And he's now connecting. K drive, MySQL, bin. I know I'm annoying you. My SQL. And again, you saw we didn't actually have to have any kind of login information. It just let us on. So we're, we're going to actually be creating an account that you'll see in just a second. So I will use the database MySQL. This is basically uh, MySQL's built-in database where it actually stores all its settings. It kind of makes sense. to uh, It actually stores all of its uh, settings in a database. Okay. So um, first we can take a look at what's in here. This is going to, uh, if we show the tables in here, we can see that they have a user table. So we can, let's go ahead and select everything in that user table and select star, again, yeah, talking and typing. <laughs> All right, so it has, you see you have a bunch of accounts and here, let me see if I can find it. For those of you that didn't see what he did because he was going real fast, he did a select star from user. So, yep, yeah, select star from user, and notice and he how used a little special flag. I used the well. uh, the backslash capital G. This uh, printed out every uh, field on a new line. There's a lot of fields, and it would have wrapped pretty bad at this uh, at this width. So I went ahead and just had to print each field on its own line. Now a few of these in here, like this, like a local host, no user required, no password required. That's what allows us to just load up the MySQL monitor and immediately lets us right in. We're going to actually set up a uh, a user account, so we're going to need to uh, create one of these fields. And for that, we're going to use a regular uh, MySQL insert um, to do that. So let me go ahead and start writing this out. This is basically going to be adding a, adding a new record to this, but we're going to specify more of this information. So I will use insert into user. And I'm going to specify what fields. Okay, now you see these are the uh, the privileges that the that these various users have. And um, setting this to wire and yes or no will tell whether or not they're allowed to like say create a table, drop a table, or do a select on on a table. Now instead of typing out a field for every single one of these, I'm actually going to only specify which ones I'm going to be adding data to. So that way I'll basically let all the uh, the rest of them default, and their default will be n for gnome. 
So first thing I'm going to do is specify what fields I want to insert data into. And I'm going to be inserting into host, user, password, and I think the first four of these. So let's see, I'm going to be inserting into host, and user, and password. Yes, yeah, it's got to be exciting watching this. <laughs> Select. So yeah. Angie, how about that weather? Oh, it's awful. Actually, I love it. I love all the fog and the rain. It's starting to get cold. Mm, it's good stuff. Yes, cold is good. Yeah, cold is very good. Sir Priv. Freezer. She just said it's like a freezer in the house. Yeah, I keep it cold, but Logan and I like it that way. Sir Priv, final delete. Underscore Priv. So as Logan goes in and types all these long names out here for all of the different fields that he's going to be entering data into. All right, those are the uh, the fields we yeah, you know, like Fudge just said, inserting uh, data into values. These are actually this is what we're actually going to be putting into each of these. So host. Uh, we're